Hey guys, Jazz back with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about who you guys should be rooting for, who am I gonna root for. I'm still up in the air who I'm gonna root for. Going into the um, Final Four, the um, championship weekend, I would just want the Patriots to lose. I wanted the Jack Jaguars to knock them out, and then I didn't care who won, and or whoever came out the NFC to knock out the Patriots once I knew they won the game. Um, but some things that happened yesterday that kind of turned me off to the NFC champion that kind of got me debating. I, I know a lot of you are probably debating. Well, some of you are debating because there are people out there like if you're an NFC East, um, if you like an NFC East team, you obviously hate the Eagles, and pretty much everybody. Hates the Patriots since they won so much. So usually teams that win a lot get a lot of hate. So I know that a lot of people are tired of seeing the Patriots win. But if you guys saw how the Eagles basically acted yesterday, throwing beers at people, like full beers, like unopened beers. They were throwing, chugging beers at people, just trying to hit them, like really, you know, trying to hurt people. I mean, people, there were reports of people getting beat up on the, on the stands. Like you're blowing the team out and you're still out there acting a fool beating up on Vikings fans. First of all, if someone goes to a game, a hostile environment, obviously you 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 know that people are going to probably heckle you, stuff like that. At the end of the day, just don't touch me. That's my thing. Don't touch me. Don't throw nothing at me. Don't make any physical contact. You can say whatever you want. That's that's fine. I I went into Giants um stadium this year when the Rams played and obviously people heckling whatever, but we blew them out, so it didn't matter. But I'm not out there. I mean, I got into it with a few of the guys, but it's like at the end of the day, if you keep it verbal, we're good. As long as anything physical happens, that's when you people cross the line. Like people throwing stuff at people, like they're having to call the riot police on the Eagles fans. I mean, at the end of the game, I think they were saying like the 99-year-old um, Vikings fan was Millie, and they were like, fuck Millie. Fuck. Like there was a big crowd just chanting that, like very obnoxious and like really turned me off to the Eagles, and I understand that this is a minority, not the majority, but it just happens too often. And I know that um, Philadelphia gets branded with this, like they don't, you know, a bad fan base that they really don't know how to um, act or whatever. So I really don't want to jump on all Eagles fans because obviously it's not every Eagles fan. Some people know how to, com um, you know, conduct themselves. But something similar to this happened to me when I went to a Yankees game. There was somebody throwing popcorn at people and like it hit me, hit my brother. I was there with my brother, my boys, whatever. It got me to the point that I was really pissed. And those guys were behind me. I kind of knew the, the group that it was. I just didn't know who was doing it. So I just turned around and I just stared at the group for like five minutes. Like I was giving them the eye like this. Just like just waiting. I'm just like waiting for one of them to throw it at anybody because I was ready to react. So like they weren't really trying to do nothing. But they were looking at me because they knew I was I was staring at them. One on the end was like the smaller dude. And he's like, Me? Me? You're looking at me? I'm like, nah, dude, I'm not looking at you. Because I knew it wasn't him. I kind of figured it was one of the other guys. But I just wanted to see who it was. So then I wound up telling my, my boy, I'm like, yo, go behind him. I'm going to turn around. And I want to see if they throw anything. Let me know who is the guy that's throwing something. Because I was going to go confront them. But they obviously stopped or whatever. Because that's kind of like petty. Like, dude, if somebody's at the game, you're throwing food at people. Like, like people, grow up. You're a 20-something, 30-year-old person out there acting like a little child like it just doesn't matter and if you guys can't drink then just don't drink that's not an excuse if you can't handle your liquor don't drink there's no excuses for you getting basically there's no excuse if you can't handle your liquor that's not an excuse if you know you can't handle your liquor don't drink that's just the point all right so we got off the topic so a lot of people are struggling i'm struggling because i really have a dis they left a bad taste in my mouth the philly fans and obviously, I should hate them more because I usually hate on the local teams. But there, I don't know that many Philly fans, so I think I'm actually. I didn't think I would do this. I'm probably gonna be rooting for the Patriots. I'm gonna be leaning toward on the side of history. They're gonna make history with six Super Bowl, six Super Bowls between um and their first team of six Super Bowls. Um, head coach with six Super Bowls, and um, Belichick also has some coordinator championships as well. So I mean, it's crazy. I would probably be leaning towards the Patriots, which I didn't see coming this weekend. It's just that, honestly, the, the Eagles fans left a very bad taste of them off, and I can't root for them. What a lot of people are saying to root for is to root for the Astros to actually hit um, Minneapolis and basically just stop the Super Bowl, because su supposedly there's an Astro that's going to be getting close, real close on Super Bowl Sunday to the earth. A lot of people are just rooting for that rather than to root for any of these two teams. So we'll see what happens. 
Hopefully it's a good game. I'll have an analysis on who I think is going to win and why in another video. This is just who I'm rooting for. That's not who I'm actually going for, who I think is going to win. I pretty much already know who I think is going to win. But again, any given Sunday, anything can happen. But I'm going to have a different video just talking about who I think is going to win the game. But it's kind of tough. You guys let me know who you guys are rooting for, why you're rooting for them. And I, I know a lot of Eagles fans are going to get mad about, oh, it's not everybody, whatever. And I completely understand it's not everybody. But it just happens very often. And there's just a lot of ignorance going on. Like, I, I understand that you can, you know, talk crap, talk your stuff, whatever. And especially when you're blowing the other team out, like you can just chill out, you know what I mean? You're blowing them out, there's no need to get physical people, push people down the stairs, stuff like, I mean, it's just out of control. That was just pretty much it, my thoughts. Hopefully you guys, um, if well, obviously if one of you, um, if you're a Patriots fan or Eagles fan, you gotta be rooting for that team, but let me know down below who you guys are rooting for in the Super Bowl and leave some funny comments and stuff, whatever, you know, like people were saying about the asteroid. Let's see if somebody can come up with some creative stuff. Pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Till next time, guys.